Bad life sucks, but it'll get easier. <laughs> okay, maybe it doesn't suck, but in our first week, <laughs> we've had leaky roofs, we've had broken geezers, <laughs> we've been turned around twice, unable to get where we were going. It's been really hard. But just to give you some background into why I might sound slightly negative. <laughs> our, our road to van life, to actually getting on the road, has, has had many issues. Found a first van that we thought was the right van at the right price. And uh, it ended up being a complete lemon. <laughs> uh, and after trying our hardest to, to work with what we had and, and fix it, we had to call it quits, sell it and start again. So we're a bit deflated, but we but we came back, we, we searched, looked everywhere we could, and we eventually found what we have now. Living in the coast is amazing, and especially in Pringle Bay. The village is adorable, but it comes with its own ups and downs. One of them being the crazy wind you get to experience, and that mixed with rain can really cause havoc. And true to form, the night before we were supposed to leave, we had a huge storm, which broke our geyser, started a leak in the roof, which we had to then repair. So we had to ask our tenants to delay their arrival by day and our departure by day. But look, we pressed on. The next day, uh, we fixed the roof. It was just a small leak, but still. We arranged somebody to come and replace the geyser. And we set off on the road. Um, we ended up spending a beautiful night in Betty's Bay mm -hmm. um, at a lovely campsite, it's close to our house. I think that was that was nice that we didn't have to travel too yep. far. Um, but then the next morning we woke up and we had a flat tire <laughs> just to <laughs> continue our issues. We had to arrange at the last minute um, somebody to to fix a valve that, that ended up being the broken valve. Thank you so much. <laughs> We, we eventually made the decision just to replace all of our tires with all terrain just so that we could, you know, be comfortable yep. mo moving forward. Peace of mind. Yeah, and then we headed off after getting our valve repaired to our second campsite. And en route, after driving about, what, two hours or so, mm. we get almost 10 minutes away from our campsite and the road is closed and they refuse to let us through and we they tell us there's a detour but there's no ways we can do it in time before the gates close it's another three four hour drive at least so we turn around and we start stressing and panicking a bit where we're going to sleep that night and then thankfully matthew realized that we were fairly close to rubis castile and uh, we have amazing friends that live there and with one quick phone call and 10 minutes notice they let us stay at the house for two nights. They set up our bedroom. They fed us. They were amazing. And it really saved the trip. And it let us just calm down and settle into mm. our new situation. We then decided we weren't going to try and get to the other campsite the next day or anything. We spent, we ended up spending two nights there in Rubik's Castile. And the weekend arrived. Work <laughs> was finally done because it was a very stressful <laughs> week work-wise. And we were headed to... Uh, an area called the Tunkwakuru National Park and we were going to have a full wild camping experience off the grid and it was going to be amazing. Rough and wild. <laughs> and rough it was. <laughs> right, so we've just turned around. Our car is... Again. Not... <laughs> okay. Turn around again. Our car is not going to make it to Tunkwa. The road is beyond rumpy. It was going to take us another four, five hours at least just on the sand road to it to get there. 100, 135 k's of rutty dirt road at uh, between 10 and 20 k's an hour. And everything was literally rattling. All the drawers came <laughs> out. Everything rattled loose. The kids were rattling. <laughs> so, yeah, we are now on route to find a new home for tonight. So we ended up finding a hotel in the middle of the career. That was lovely. Ta-da! Ta-da! Big ship. Love ship. It was such a find. They were so kind and accommodating. 
they got our room ready in about 10 minutes flat so again they, they, that's hilarious actually they um, have a restaurant on site so we could have dinner without stressing about cooking and finding food it all just fell into place we regrouped we thought long and hard um, <laughs> we found a wonderful campsite in Bonnyvale and after spending only one night in our van uh, after five nights on the road we are now in this beautiful spot and we are finally starting to see the light and look you, it is what it is you either give up or you press on and we've decided that we're going to press on pressing on um, we're going to make our own adventure and we're going to be something awesome